Good evening, StarCraft fans. Matt here with Matt and Steve SC. Unfortunately, another bunch of solo casts for you guys, if you can put up with me for that long. But we are going into day five of the OSL here, round of 16. And uh, these are going to be good games. I don't know anything that happens, but I already know because we have three PVZs, which is kind of my new favorite matchup in one ZVZ. And uh, to me, this is going to be a huge proving ground because uh, obviously there's been a lot of talk about Protoss being, uh, you know, or, or the Protoss versus Zerg game being Imba, which means imbalanced. In other words, the uh, Zergs are just too strong. Uh, but we are going to have the strongest Zerg of them all, Jadong, on the right against Movie, who is a sporadic Protoss. Uh, he's not a bad Protoss necessarily. He is just somebody where. You know, you will see fleets of brilliance here and there, um, but it's he's not necessarily consistent. So these two are going to play our first PVZ game. Just to give you guys a preview of the matchup here, um, we are going to have after this game, Pure versus Zero, then a ZVZ Calm versus Shine that should be good, and then Stork versus Quanro. So some pretty big games are going to come up here, and I expect to see some creative play. Now in this game here, uh, which is on El Nino, I should let you guys know that this match has already been decided. Uh, what I'm going to start doing is including the current standings before the game in the description. So if you guys click on the description right now, you'll see the standings for the group. So this is group A. You'll see that Jadong is 2-0 uh, and Movie is 2-0. Meanwhile, Pusan and Gogo are both 0-2. So what that means is this is essentially uh, almost like a scrimmage match. It really doesn't matter who wins here. There's only one more day coming up, and that day is going to be kind of the loser's match to see who's the less of a loser between Pusan and Gogo. So there's only one more day left as far as round of 16 goes. Both of these guys are moving on. It does not matter who wins here. So I'm hoping maybe this will mean something more creative, uh, maybe something a little more fun, because this is essentially a show match. Um, although obviously, you know, I'm sure both players want the win, but, uh, but you know, hey, let's, let's do something cool guys. Come on. So, uh, so you should know that movie is actually 50% against Jadong. Um, he has beat Jadong three times and lost to Jadong three times. And no, that does not spoil this match. Uh, that is prior to this match. So that's, that's an interesting, uh, bat there. Get, get the hell, get your sign out of my way. My sign. I'm putting on my little bat. Boo. I got my sign. That other sign got owned. Anyways, uh, so we see a, a, a early scout going down here from a uh, movie, so uh, trying to really early on see what Jadong has planned, if he is going to go for a quick uh, pull, and he is. Jadong did, uh, did go for a nine pull, so some fast aggression here coming from Jadong. Um, so anyway, so movie and Jadong both 50% against each other, so uh, this could really go anywhere. Now, of course, Jadong is more... It's going to be favored. Uh, he is 65% against Protoss. I believe Movie is something like 54 against Zerg. So still more than 50%. So one thing I wanted to talk about early on here in this game is uh, is the uh, the idea of Sauron Zerg. And this is something where I had misinterpreted this before. Looked up a few things online. Chatted a bit with Moltrap about it. Uh, but most of what we see oh uh great block there by a uh, movie so jadon can't get down his natural expansion that was that's gonna hurt him actually um that could throw off jadon's timing although we all know jadon's a beast and can recover from anything so it doesn't really matter jadon going for that probe up there so um you know i might actually save the sauron zerg talk for uh for a game with more of a lull because uh, there's already stuff going on in this game back and forth um yay to see jadon to see the dong win with just drones you know what? If anybody could win with just drones, it would be Jadong. It's pretty, that's kind of an awesome sign. All right. So Jadong going for the outside expansion. Um, wow. I mean, that's, of course, a harder to hold on to. Uh, but we're going to see if Movie is going to be ready for these Zerglings coming up here. Uh, he is just getting one cannon. And then I believe that's a gateway up there. Oh, just now getting the second cannon. I don't know if this is going to be in time for him. And Jadong might be able, well, he is going to be able to run by at least four of these Zerglings, maybe five. And the run by is coming through right now. Movie failing at blocking. And this could be the game. Uh, Movie, ra rather than deciding to do something creative this game, decided to do something sloppy and lazy. So uh, good job, Movie. Um, these these uh, lings should be able to take out a couple probes at least, 
And I don't know if Jadong, he doesn't look like he's sending any other Lings up right now. So these Lings might just be there just to kind of mess up a uh, movie and mess with them. But so far, they have not done any damage. Oh, and there's some damage right there. But uh, actually, pretty good micro by movie, able to take out one Zergling. But nope, now not doing my, any micro at all and losing three more probes. So... Not looking good. Uh, Jadong not sending other lings, of course, because the front door is currently closed right now. Um, but right now, doing well, getting his third hatchery. Uh, he knows that just by just by picking off the four drones so far, he is going to be crippling Movie uh, quite a bit here. So, um, yeah. So of, of course, Jadong. I mean, that that we kind of all saw. Or I'm assuming most people most people saw it a mile away with the nine hatch and only putting down one cannon. You know, it's an interesting decision by Protoss how many cannons they put down. Um, you know, you could you can definitely use the 150 minerals. Go buy yourself a gateway rather than buying a cannon. I mean, cannons are very expensive things to buy for you know just being a a, a, play, a, a in place defense. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Uh, wow, try to pick up one more. Oh my gosh, that was unnecessary. Jadong with a uh, another zergling. That zergling alone has three kills on it. So uh, things not not a good start off for movie. Now he does have his front door set up right now. And uh, sending in a Zealot, uh, actually putting it in a nice little place there to get some kills on Zerglings. Another kill before the Zealot goes down there. Um, wow, Zealot actually able to get three kills before it goes down. I believe it was three kills. Um, but so far, you know, again, Jadong is doing perfectly fine. Uh, movie, ha, <laughs> that's interesting. He started, it looks like he started, or I don't know if he was trying to fake, uh, do a fake to Jadong. He started uh, researching the Dragoon range and then stopped. Um... So I'm not really sure what that was about. Uh, maybe he started and then realized, well, I, I want to kill this uh, Zergling. But a probe following a Zergling is not going to be very successful. Although I guess the probe at least has the one range versus a Zealot. Oh! <laughs> I don't really know why I said oh there. I guess it just it looked like the drone was trying to attack the Zergling with a pylon warp. And that would be awesome. Warp a pylon on top of an enemy unit and kill them. See, it's it's smart, brilliant things like this that make me think I should work for a Blizzard. No, I really shouldn't work for Blizzard. The, that would be crazy. Um, I wouldn't really do a whole lot. I could be their in-house commentator, and then I'd be terrible. So uh, never mind about working for Blizzard. Although, I would make loads of money and probably go buy a Lotus and, you know, probably turn into a huge douchebag. So, you know, maybe that's not the best idea after all. I should mention, it is late, man. It took a long time to download these videos. Um from Korea, <laughs> which is how I'm doing it now directly, and uh, it took a long time. I mean, I, the general average is like maybe 50 to 90 at the tops kilobytes a second, and uh, some of these were bigger files, so uh, which is good. It means they're better quality, but yeah, it's taken a little while, so uh, let's see. It is about 10.45 right now. I have work in the morning, but I am going to plow through these. Um, I hope, you know, I kind of, one part of me hopes the games aren't very long, but then I love long epic games. So, you know, for, for me, I, I kind of judge how much I want to watch a video on YouTube by how many parts there are. So if it's like a three or four part game, I'm like, ah, all right, I'm sold. And unlike a lot of people, I actually watch the first part. And maybe that's just because I'm commentating a lot now. But, uh, you know, the first part of the game really makes the difference. I would say the first 10 minutes really can make the difference for the entire game. I mean, you notice movie lost several drones or uh, several probes. That can make a difference, and uh, he is not protected at all in his main. Mutilus is going to be able to come in here, oh my gosh, and just take out probes. And I don't know what movie was thinking here. He's getting up two Stargates and uh, not even one single cannon. He has one Dragoon out. You know, I think the economy was just hurt too much, and I'm expecting him to punch in at any moment here. Um, you know, again, there's not really any point to waste a whole lot of effort on this game. Um... And, uh, wow, I guess a counterattack, though. I didn't think about that. But, unfortunately, a counterattack of only Zealots and no air attack. And those Zealots are going to go down. And Movie looks like he is about ready to GG. Give me a little g-g-g-g-g sound. g g g g g g All right, dude, come on. I mean, oh, no. He got, he got, uh, I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> Dude, I am uh, I am too tired. Corsairs, that's right. Hey, he, he didn't have to click on it for me to see that. Corsairs aren't going to do a whole lot. Um, movie has lost the game at this point. There we go. There's the GG. All right. Well, that was a lame game. That was a lame start to the series. Again, they probably weren't taking it very serious just because... Oh, look at that hair. That's pretty awesome. 
Um, I don't know if that's intentional or not. Probably not. I hope so. I hope his face isn't intentional either, because that's kind of kind of creepy. But all right, Jadon with the win. That's shocking. So Jadon gonna go 3-0. Going to uh, perfect the round there. Movie also advancing with 2-1, and then Gogo -Go and Passan are just gonna basically play a losers game to see who is the biggest loser, and that'll be in day six. Moving on to day two. I mean, <laughs> to game two, guys. See you then.